Another victory for the Hartford women's basketball team. Back-to-back -back performances of 80 points. Jenna Rosati, Brian Rizzeri, friendly confines of the <laughs> coach's office. And got to be happy, back-to-back -back games. You set a couple school records. Uh, Three-point field goals made as a team with 16. And then Amber Bebko, she was just lights out uh, the entire game. Just talk about the performance overall by the girls. Well, I think it's always a good sign as a coach when not only do you have a lot of points, but you have a lot of assists. And I feel like our players did a great job tonight of finding the hot shooters and delivering the ball at the right time. So, you know, obviously UMBC was kind of asking for it when they stayed in the zone, but it, it doesn't always mean that you're going to get great shots if they do a good job of, of um, covering everybody. And, you know, I think that our post players did, were patient at the high post. Our guards ran the floor well. They shared the ball and, you know, they just made big shots after big shot. Um, you know, it's always a little scary when you're winning because you make a lot of threes, but we kind of were, I think, due to have a night like this where everything went in. You've had a couple players that have uh, struggled. Shanice Boltron, back-to-back mm -hmm. uh, -back performances and double figures. Uh, Sherelle Moore continues to struggle but contributing other ways. you got Alyssa Reeves, double figures in rebounding. Are the little things that you've asked as a coaching staff for them to improve on, uh, is the light bulb starting to go off now late <laughs> in the season? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, in some ways, yes. I feel like for Alyssa Reeves, yes, because she's a freshman and, you know, you kind of have to be able to maintain a level of confidence to get through a whole season. Um, obviously, Morgan's playing good basketball and playing with a lot more confidence and doing some things that we asked her to. Um, you know, as far as Shanice, it's, it's, a t it's a tough thing to be a shooter sometimes yeah. because, you know, you kind of know that I have to make shots to play. And it does put pressure on you as you get older. And it's not an easy thing to handle. And I feel like her mental toughness today in our last game was tremendous. Because it's not like she started out on fire. She had to get herself going. And so it was good to see her want to keep shooting and want to make big shots down the stretch. And, and that's what I've been challenging our juniors to do is play like upperclassmen, make the big shots, make the big plays, and be the guys that I want on the floor at the end of the game. It was the annual Pink Zone game here in West Hartford. Pink, pink, pink. Amber Bebko, she was on fire. We called it Bebko Day for a little bit. Uh, scored the first 13 points uh, right out of the gate. You were shooting from three, lights out. Just You obviously brought something to the game today that you felt, today's my day. Yeah, I mean, it's always an exciting day, especially this pink game. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I mean, we just came out with a fire and because I was feeling some type of way today and I was just shooting it and that's what I'm out there to do. So I was knocking them down today. We'll uh, take a look at the numbers here. 9 of 14 from the field, 7 of 11 from beyond the arc. You set the school record uh, for individual three-point field goals made in a game. Shanice Boltron tied it later on, but you raised the bar, so uh, she still trails you. Six boards, 25 points, mirror image of the number that you wear and now a new career high uh, so today's the day your mom is a breast cancer survivor so I you play with a little bit of extra oomph today yeah it, it definitely does mean a lot to me because it's such a like a hit it definitely hits home so I mean the, the game is like always she's always in my mind for it and it's always exciting to do well on this day so I don't know I'm just happy about it